I know you Chibits told me that this series would be good, but why did no one tell me it would be this good? This is good. Very, very, very good. Good, 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 good episode. Beethoven. Beethoven's my jam. Classical music. I want to let you all on a little secret. I love classical music. I, I don't know my name, and I don't know by the exact certain person I wrote individual songs, but I, I know classical music when I hear it. And to hear Beethoven, oh my god, dude. Seriously, I love classical music. I, I, I love it. It is something I've always enjoyed listening to, and to see how this series captures the vibe of classical music, holy hell. Uh, okay, now, I'm not usually a big, big, massive fan to music anime. I've watched a couple music anime that has been phenomenal. I've loved them. But, I mean, I'm not the biggest massive fan that goes out of my way to find all sorts of new music genre anime. But, I will say this right now. If you're a big fan of music anime, you're definitely going to enjoy this. And if you love classical music, you're definitely going to enjoy this also even more. Seriously, anyone that knows, like, classical music off their, ha like, off their hands, like, for instance, if you know the song names and the person that wrote them, I bet they're all just like, oh my god, this is too good. I bet all those people are just rolling in their seats like, this is too damn good. I'm not joking. I was actually just kind of like this watching the episode, just, you know, casually watching this episode with the classical music coming on. I was like, oh, this is pretty nice. And then all of a sudden, you see our main female character, Cowardly, just start to do her violin. I'm like, holy shit. Oh, that was beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, my words cannot describe the beauty in that song. The, just the music I was hearing flowing through my ears. Oh, I, I can't describe the beauty of that. There's just so much beauty in that song. And I, I'm looking forward to finding out what other songs are going to sound like. For instance, different pieces of classical music. This series has shocked me. It has definitely shocked me, and I'm definitely more invested in the series now after this episode. I've heard that this could possibly be the romance of the season. I've heard a lot of Chibits tell me that this is probably going to be the definite romance of the season. So far at the moment, I don't know. Uh, there's two romance series that are kind of competing for the best. It's this series and Okame Shoujo. That, those are the only two romances from this series that are really doing good romance. And so we'll have to see how the romance progresses with this. So far, though, the romance in this is starting to look very believable. I mean, the romance, the way it's being betrayed, is not like a comedy-based romance. It has some form of symbolic meaning. For instance, in this episode, our main male character, Anima, he actually remembers, it looks at our main female character, Kaori, and he remembers his past with his mother forcing her dream on top of her own child. He remembers this and remembers the pressures and stuff he had to go through. And in this episode, you see how he looks at Kaori. He's like, she's like a girl out of a movie. Like, she's a person out of a movie, and he's just friend A. He's just a background character. It, it's just, there's so much meaning in that line, and there's so much meaning and connections you see between them, the similarities. Like, she clearly doesn't care about being first place. In this episode, when you saw the people come out, like, oh, we'll have the rankings out soon, whoever scored whoever first. And she's like, oh, I don't care about that. And you saw the main male characters, like, he, he was shocked, because in the past, he wanted to get first, he, he was worried about winning, technically, and you can easily tell she doesn't really care about that. So, the connections and the character progression I can see happening from her and him getting together is going to be amazing. The feels already is very strong. In terms of music, it definitely brought out my, like, soul. Seriously, I was like, oh, oh. That's how music should be. That that really is how music should be. I mean, it should bring out your soul, get you livened up, where you're like, oh my god, this is too damn good, and you're just stuck to the screen just watching, or watching a person real life. I mean, seriously, that is the type of music I like, and what they did in this was phenomenal. I, I really enjoyed this episode. Animation, holy shit. Seriously, holy shit. I, I, I don't even need to explain the animation, do I? There's only two sections in this episode that can be considered kind of bad animation. Only two. And it's not that bad. There, there, it's not an issue. But there is one scene that's over the other. Still frames are one of them. Majority of the song in the concert, you saw still frames with the other, you know, contestants besides our main female character. A bunch of still frames. But that that's fine. The major noticeable animation quality drop was definitely on the scene where you saw Waterdy and uh, our main male character, Arnima, just sitting 
in the like room after the entire concert and you see how their faces are not drawn like you will see no faces on their characters like there's no animation on their face or anything and so that's the only time i think the animation was kind of off but i mean the quality of the anime is ridiculous so I i'm not even gonna nitpick at that seriously it's just the quality of the animation and art looks beautiful, and so I can overlook something like that. I mean, BDs, DVDs can easily fix something like that, so it doesn't really matter. Overall, episode is an 8.5 out of 10 in my eyes. The music alone, man, music subjective. If I was rating it based on music alone, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but music is subjective, and it depends on your taste in music. But overall, wonderful episode. Enjoyed it from start to finish, and I cannot wait to see more from this series. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.